Hi everybody, I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as an aesthetic dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bangalore. Dirt filled pores. See, how do we come across this? See, there are individuals where the pore size is more. How does it happen? See, what are these pores actually? So, if you look at this, here you can see that this is the hair follicle which is coming out here. You have a sweat duct here. Okay, the sweat duct also opens on the skin. So the openings on the skin is because of two things. One is your hair follicle opening and second is your sweat duct opening. Okay. So these are the two openings which can look like a pore. So what happens is sometimes these structures are actually supported by collagen here. So whenever there is a damage to this collagen, the support goes off. So then the opening becomes a little bit patulous. So that is why when we look at an open pore, Commonly, we attribute it to a photo aging. So, because UV rays are known to de enter, go deep into the skin and damage the collagen. So, whenever the collagen gets damaged, the support system to these openings, they become less. So, that makes it more patulous. However, sometimes this tendency of open pores runs in family. So, in that situation also, you can see open pores quite early. So, it is not that always when you have open pores, you are aged. It can be a familial tendency where the skin is aging a little bit faster. So the best way to prevent your open pores is UV protection. Second aspect, so there is a lot of dust and dirt in the atmosphere. So whenever it is settling down on the skin, definitely it can settle down a little bit more in your pores. So that can be a reason to have those small black things on your skin. Second aspect is rarely people do confuse the fine hairs on the nose as blackheads or whiteheads or some dirt on the nose. They try to squeeze, they try to scrub, they try to do a lot of things, but it does not come out. That's mainly because it's a hair. So get it checked. If it is dark, it is not reducing with any of your re regular skincare methods, then check with a dermatologist. And if it is a hair, then you can get a laser hair reduction done. So then it looks more clear. It won't look like a dark spot. Coming to the dilated dirt pores, so wash your face regularly with a cleanser. You can use a scrub. There are a lot of uh, facial scrubs which are natural, which are not polymers. There are some face, uh, face washes which have scrubs which are actually polymers and they are not biodegradable. So try to avoid them, be natural. You can use a scrub like 3-4 to four days once. And uh, main thing is whenever you are washing your face to remove the dirt, be gentle. Don't be very aggressive because that can damage your skin. You can use micella water. Micella water helps in removing the dirt and dust very effectively. So you can use micella water, wash frequently 2-3 to three times and then check whether your pores are actually small fine facial hair. Apart from that is get treated for your open pores. We cannot completely remove the open pores because it's a structural unit, but we can try to stimulate collagen so that the pores become a little bit more tighter. How do we do it? We do it with laser, we do with some peels and we do with procedures like Tixel. All these procedures help in stimulating the collagen. So by doing this, the open pores become less prominent and the accumulation of dust in these pores also starts reducing.